The conversation that advisors are trying to have with their clients about expanding their options in their portfolio, going to, into more non-traditional investment strategies and asset classes, can be a very difficult one, for sure, uh, because, especially because we tend to call these things alternatives, which right off the bat sounds weird and strange and people don't really want to be involved with those things. Uh, so I, what I really like to talk to clients about is creating a panoramic portfolio, something that, you know, that's, that's a positive, it's nice and broad, it's well diversified, it makes sense, it describes what we're really attempting to do, which after all is simply much greater diversification in the portfolio to be able to combat the wild risks and unprecedented risks that we see in the economy and the global financial structures. So, but when we talk about creating a panoramic portfolio, the most important thing is to not present it as some crazy new idea something that's strange and out of the blue. It should be it, it really important to get across this point that we're talking about intellectual and financial planning consistency, not novelty. And the consistency comes from what we're always trying to do inside of the portfolio. That's what we need to be consistent about. Not which ways we get to it, but what are the goals we're trying to achieve. Now in the old days, stocks and bonds, just two asset classes, did the four key investor jobs reasonably well. So they gave you growth, they gave you inflation protection, they gave you income, and they gave you downside protection. The first two for stocks, the second two for bonds. Beautiful, easy, convenient, wonderful, when that worked. These days, eh, not so confident that those just those two asset classes can continue to perform those four jobs. So what advisors need to do is say, look, we've always been attempting to do these jobs, we used to be able to get away with these two asset classes. Now, in order to do those jobs, we're going to need to add some new options. And it's, that is the key point. This isn't new, different, something shiny, new ball that we're trying to get people to be fascinated by. It's an essential way in which we're going to help people accomplish the same investment goals they've always had. <laughs>